Hi, my name is Dr. Lesna Goff. As one of the world's leading animal physiotherapists and lecturer in the same area, I'm often asked, how do you become an animal physiotherapist? Well, the pathway to animal physio is a little bit different to when I wanted to become an animal physio. I was in my busy private practice looking out the window, wanting another challenge, but also wanting, even though I was a physiotherapist, to be able to work with animals because I have a, a love for animals. When an opportunity arose for me to attend an animal physiotherapy course here in Australia, I jumped at the chance. And since then, myself and a like-minded group of physios and vets and lecturers uh, allowed the first Masters in Animal Physiotherapy to run here in Australia. And that was a university degree, which unfortunately does not run here in Australia anymore. So, where does that leave Australian physiotherapists who wish to become animal physiotherapists? Well, obviously you need your degree in physiotherapy and it's recommended that you spend a couple of years out in the field after you graduate from university consolidating what you've learnt. In areas of physio that lead really well into animal physio are musculoskeletal physiotherapy, sports physio and rehabilitation. Now, postgraduate study is required to become an animal physiotherapist because you need to understand about animal biomechanics, animal anatomy, which is very different to human anatomy, how animals move. Um, you need to understand about animal behaviour and also how we as physiotherapists can integrate with the veterinary profession. At the moment, Australian physiotherapists who wish to become animal physiotherapists by postgraduate study mostly enrol in the University of Liverpool's Masters in Veterinary Physiotherapy and a lot of physios from around the world also enrol in this degree because of its high standard. Now um, they're able to do this because uh, the teaching is, is online with the residential schools being held in various countries. So the Australian and New Zealand students come here to Australia to do their practical component of animal physiotherapy. So what if you don't want to do a postgraduate degree? Well, if you're interested in animal physiotherapy, you can join the APG, which in Australia is the Animal Physiotherapy Group, a special interest group of the APA, which is the Australian Physiotherapy Association. The APG run regular professional development courses. At the moment, most of them are online as well. The APA has a number of um, these professional development webinars and seminars scheduled over the next six months. So if you join the APG and you're an APA member, you'll have access to these. And normally, in times when there, there aren't limitations of people getting together, each state in Australia runs regular professional development for animal physiotherapists. The APA also has a list of physios who are qualified animal physiotherapists, and you can access this through the APA and contact these physios to either just pick their brains or perhaps ask if you can spend some clinical time with these physiotherapists. The other thing you can do is read up on some animal anatomy, get some animal anatomy um, books. There are a couple of animal physiotherapy textbooks available at the moment as well um, and they're a very useful resource for you to start to understand how you become an animal physiotherapist and everything that's involved in that. The other important qualification for being an animal physio is your love for animals and the passion to be able to bring our skills or your skills as a physiotherapist into the veterinary world. So hopefully this has given you a pathway by which you can begin your journey into animal physiotherapy and I may even see you in the future.